uh, Singapore math fans and scholars. I would like to introduce you to this video. Uh, it is about number bonds. And number bonds are probably the most uh, foundational um, tool that uh, Singapore math uses. And number bonds have a really uh, excellent purpose in that it shows both the relationship between addition and subtraction uh, with just one with just one image. So let us see how this actually works and how to interpret it. Okay, as I said, this right here is called a number bond. A number bond is made up of three different components. Uh, the first is one of the components is called the whole, and then the whole is made up of two or more parts. Each of these are the parts. So in a number bond, you'll have a whole and uh, two parts, at least two parts. Um, the thinking behind this is that uh, these two numbers, when put together, will make this entire number. Okay? And let's actually see how this works. All right. So the first part that I have, one of the parts that makes up this number is, let's count, one, two, three, four, five. So I have five here, five stars. And let's say that the other part is three, three blue stars. All right, how many stars do I have all together? Um, well, I have five and then six, seven, eight. So five and three put together makes eight. Um, and that's the thinking behind this. So from this one number bond, I can actually make an addition sentence, um, two of them. In fact, I can have 5 plus 3 equals 8. And because of the, uh, the any order property in uh, math for addition, which states that I can add the numbers or the add-ends in any order that I'd like, um, I can also start with 3 and then count on 5 more. So 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'll still get eight. So that's the other addition sentence that can be made from this. Three plus five, that's a five, equals eight. Now, that's when I was given both the parts. Subtraction, a subtraction uh, sentence means that you know what the whole is, and you know what one of the parts is, but you don't know what one of, what the missing part is. So a subtraction problem is essentially a missing part problem, or a missing add-end problem, because both of these are called add-ends. So it's a missing add-end problem. So the subtraction sentence I can make would be starting with my whole. So it, subtraction sentences always start with the whole first. So I could write 8, and then you'll write a, a, a minus sign, and then you'll tell me what one of the parts is. Okay? one of the parts is 5, so it would be 8 minus 5 equals, well, it equals 3. And you'll see why, because this is 8 right here. This is the whole. If I already know that 5 um, stars are my whole here, then how many do I have left? I have 3. So I know my whole is 8. I know I have five stars of that eight. How many stars do I have left to make that eight? There are three more. Okay? And likewise, I can make another subtraction sentence. Start with the whole always. Subtraction always starts with the whole. So eight minus, uh, let's see, minus three equals five. That other missing part. So. Number bonds are very, very helpful in helping you to decide which operation you're going to choose. If you have, if you are missing the whole, let's go to another example. If you're missing the whole, let's say we have three, pull, three and four. So three and four make what? Now, how do you notice how do you know in a number bond what number is the whole? The whole is the only uh, circle that has uh, has more than one line going to it. So 
this is the hole right here because it has this line and this line going to it. All right. Um, and three and four make what? Well, three and four make a number that we're trying to find. But if we're trying to find the whole, and this is the whole, we are going to use an addition statement. So it'll be three plus four equals, and uh, knowing my addition facts automatically, it would be seven. Okay. Likewise, I can write another statement as well. Four plus three equals seven, because of the any order. Um, property of mathematics when it comes to addition. Uh, if you are missing a part, say this is 5, and you know that uh, one of the parts is 2, then I'm missing a part. A part only has one line going to it in a number bond. You'll notice this is a missing part because it only has one line going to it. So it would be a subtraction problem. Start with the whole. The whole is 5. Write a subtraction um, sentence. We write a minus sign. And then I put the part that I know. So 2 and 5 minus 2 equals some number that we're trying to find. And that number is 3. Okay, I want a whole of 5, a whole of 5, and, sorry, there's music playing in the background. It is uh, 5 o'clock, where I am at. <laughs> All right, so we have 5 right here. I know, I know what, that 2 are, um, are one of the parts, and how many is the other part? It's 3. All right, so you can also know that subtraction is just a missing part problem, right? So if it's a missing part problem, then you can also think of it as addition. And in the next video, I will show you uh, what I mean by that. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed and understood what number bonds were all about.